Hello, fantastic learners. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are delving deep into the captivating world of numbers specifically, natural and whole numbers. Are you ready for a mathematical journey filled with fun and discovery? Let's kick things off by exploring natural numbers. What are natural numbers? These are the numbers that we use for counting. Picture a magical number line that starts with the number one and goes on and on forever. Can you join me in counting? One, two, three. Imagine you have a delicious apple in your hand. How would you tell someone else how many you have? You would say one apple, right? That's the power of natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers that start from one and continue forever. We use them to count all sorts of things, from the stars shining in the night sky to the number of friends we play with at the park. Examples Now, let's connect these numbers to our daily lives. How many days are there in a week? That's right, seven. And what about the number of fingers on one hand? Five. These are all natural numbers, and they are all around us, making our world full of numerical wonders. But wait, there's more magic to unfold. We also have something called whole numbers. What are whole numbers? Whole numbers include all the natural numbers, but they have a secret weapon zero. This is the starting point of whole numbers. So now, our whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, and the adventure goes on. Zero is like the superhero number, always ready to make things even more interesting. Whole numbers are like a friendly group that includes all the natural numbers, starting from one, but also gives a special place to our friend zero. We use whole numbers to represent various situations, like the time on the clock, zero minutes, the score in a game, zero points, or even the number of cookies left in the jar after a yummy snack. Examples Measuring the length of a pencil in centimeters, zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters. Describing the temperature on a cold day, zero degrees Celsius, one degree Celsius. Comparing natural and whole numbers. Imagine natural numbers like a group of athletes participating in a race. They all start at the starting line, which is one, and continue running forever. Whole numbers, however, are like a bigger team that welcomes all the athletes from the natural numbers race, but also includes someone very special, Zero, who stands at the very beginning. Remember, both natural and whole numbers are essential for counting and understanding our world around us. Let's reinforce what we've learned through some interactive activities. Count the objects around you, name some whole numbers, and see how many patterns you can discover. Learning is always more fun when it's hands-on, right? Count the toys around you. Can you name each number as you count them? Amazing work, young mathematicians. We've covered a lot today. Natural numbers are the ones we use for counting, starting from one, and whole numbers include all the natural numbers plus our hero, zero. Now, it's your turn to practice. Count your toys, your fingers, anything around you. Can you name some whole numbers? Give it a try. Well done, explorers. I hope you enjoyed this magical journey through the world of natural and whole numbers. If you had as much fun as I did, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more thrilling learning adventures. Until next time, keep counting and exploring. Goodbye.